Celebs on the Farm contains strong language and sexual references throughout. As our famous farmhands say an emotional goodbye to their adopted calves, they reflect on their time here on the farm. Hello, Rodrigo. We're leaving now. It's literally been amazing. I've learned so much on this farm. I've loved every minute, every moment. Even though it's been cold, it's been miserable, it's been rainy. I'm going to miss you so much. I didn't quite know what to expect when I stepped foot on the farm. I knew it was going to be tough. I knew it was going to be challenging. I don't quite know how I've made it this far. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad you're nice and healthy. This farm has lived up to everything that I thought it would. I came in with a very open mind, not knowing what challenges they were going to throw at us. It's been bloody lovely. Everyone's been so nice. And I think each and every one of us have not realised how much this would all mean to us. I've had a nice little journey. I've had my ups and my downs. I, I won a rosette early on in the competition with the milking challenge. My little one's so upset. She doesn't want to say goodbye. I've got such a great memory of Cosmo, my little alpaca buddy, um, getting a little bit frisky. Cosmo! <laughs> you naughty boy! As far as I'm concerned, after getting that little golden rosette from Farmer Chris and the wonderful things he said to me, I felt like a winner. I've got a bit of self-confidence in me. I've started to believe in myself like a bit more. If you'd have said to me before, you've got to, you know, do a dry stone wall or you've got to go thread these trees, I go, hang on, let me get the other pages out and phone somebody. And now I know that I'm more than capable of doing it myself. Don't go there, Gloria. The crown jewels are hidden today. The queer community normally gets counted out a lot, and I'm here showing that anybody can do these challenges, even if you've got a wig and some tights on. I made it to the island! Chilling with Kerry, having a laugh with Duncan. They've taught me <laughs> how to laugh more. They've taught me how to look at things from a different perspective. It's bye bye time now. Hand on my heart, this has been one of the best experiences I've ever done in my life. And to get to the final was just the icing on the cake. I'm a happy boy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gonna miss you. The biggest takeaway from this experience is to see everybody come together, get stuck in, and just loving the experience from day one. I don't want to say goodbye. I would get up at four o'clock in the morning if it meant working on this farm. I think it's best if I go while she's feeding so she doesn't know I'm gone. Goodbye, my angel. Stay warm. <laughs> I've enjoyed it so much. I don't want it to be over. But now I've got to go on to my real babies. <laughs> right, I've got to get out. What specifically are you upset about? What's really upsetting you? The fact you're leaving them? Or... I think I've got to attach yeah. to them. It's come to an end. <laughs> I've loved every minute of it. And um, the circle of life, really, and yeah. knowing that they're here for a purpose. Yeah. And that purpose will be coming for them soon. I understand it and I get it, but mm. it's still hard. Mm. It is what it is. I understand it. But the great thing is we give them a wonderful life. Feed them, keep them warm, keep them dry, and they'll do extremely well. And I'm well, sure they've been... It might be coming to an end, but yeah. I'm still not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll live in there with them. <laughs> well done, you. <laughs>